Hey everyone, hope you're all alright. Thank you very much for 30,000 subscribers, that's pretty goddamn cool. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a video game worth £20. And uh, yeah, so basically, um, Easy Flash, which I did a video on, god, about a good year ago or something now. Um, and that video has like 190,000 views. Um, I think um, flashcards are really, really cool, just before we go any further. Flashcards are really cool. There's a lot of controversy about um, downloading ROMs. I will only be reviewing games that I actually own the hard copy of, so I'm not going to be downloading any games that I don't own already. I got sent this by Easy Flash. They wanted to send me some stuff out to um, to review. It was probably this Thomas guy. Thomas, if you're watching, thank you very, very much. Um, so there's the cartridge itself. Um, there's a little DS um, adapter as well. I've got some Starbursts. I've got a little thing to put the game in and a Pokemon Go keyring. That's uh, pretty interesting. Um, and that looks like it. So I'm going to have a Haribo. I would like to also point out that when you buy something from a company, I guess you'd expect it to have some retail packaging, not just this cardboard box. So that's a little bit of a surprise. I have seen some listings on eBay which do actually have the um, cardboard boxes. So here's the cartridge itself. I should point out that there are some listings on eBay which have the um, USB adapter so that you can um, get the games onto your micro SD card, um, but this one didn't come with one. Uh, you might notice it looks slightly weird and you also would have seen this. This is um, basically, you can just unscrew the back here, um, put that on and then it fits in a DS Lite and doesn't protrude, which I think is um, a really, really nice feature. Um, one of my biggest criticisms of the um, previous e Easy Flash was that the um, the software was just absolutely abysmal and very childish. So what we're going to do is put some games on this and uh, I'll show you guys how to do that. So I was told that in order to put the games on there, all you need to do is just drag and drop them onto the SD card, put the SD card in there and then it's apparently as simple as that um, and it works. But I am kind of doubt that is going to be as simple as that. Like that sounds far too easy. I also have no idea how this goes in. Is there... Uh... Am I doing this wrong? Oh no, there we go. Okay, so that is in there now. I'm going to test this out with my Game Boy Advance. I put a ROM of Zelda DX on there and I also put uh, Pokemon Emerald, both of which are games I own. So hopefully you guys can uh, not leave a load of comments about ethicalness of the uh, ROMs and downloading ROMs and flashcards. So it loads that um, and there we go. So first things first, this looks like it's a load of settings. Um, I'm not going to piss around with any of these in case uh, they're something important. This is an online manual, so uh, you can scan that QR code. That's really, really cool. Um, and then, yeah, so here's our list. So on the first one, the Easy Flash uh, 1, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen. The background was like of Finding Nemo, so it was just really, really childish. So let's go ahead and try uh, Pokemon Emerald. So I imagine it's probably going to... Um, you know, load the ROM onto some more accessible accessible memory onto the, uh, the 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 game cartridge. I don't really know the the scientifics beside it behind it, but I just want to make sure that it works and uh, works well. So, okay, that didn't take too long. Definitely quicker than uh, rummaging around for the cartridge on your shelf or in your box wherever you keep them. And it looks like it's going to be absolutely flawless. So if you're playing these ROMs on a real um, on real hardware, you're not going to notice any difference because it's not reading off of the SD card now. It's reading off of the actual cartridge itself. Um, so there's not going to be any slowdowns or anything like that. Now there was one thing I wanted to do, and that was try on the Game Boy Micro to play um, Game Boy regular Game Boy um, Color games. So you can't play Game Boy Color games on. The, um, the Game Boy Micro, the, the cartridges don't actually fit and I don't believe that there's the actual um, hardware in here in order to um, emulate the, um, the games. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what the case is. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Really, really happy with the, uh, the loading on this. It just looks absolutely beautiful. So now it's created a save file. So you can see uh, it's created a save file there for the Pokemon game. And if I go ahead and try and load up this, much quicker because um, obviously Game of Color games are a lot smaller. And look at that. So you're now playing Game Boy Color games on the Game Boy Micro, which is like a dream come true because that's my only fault with the, um, with the Game Boy Micro is that it doesn't play 
regular Game Boy Color games. So you seem to have some sort of menu system here. If you press um, both um, L and R at the same time, it opens up this menu. Um, I imagine that's going to be for um, different types of, uh, I don't know, settings. So you've got speed, um, display. Let's see if we can change the color of the background. Um, Wario Blast. I'm not sure what this is doing, but we'll we'll leave it with what the background is. It looks like it's actually loaded the background of of Zelda's uh, the map. So it'd be really interesting to see if you put a different game on here what um the background would be. Um, but yeah, I mean look at this guys. We are now this is actual emulation. So I have no idea how it's doing this. I guess it's somehow reading it as a um a Game Boy Advance cartridge or, or something. I, I don't know how this this has worked technically, but this is what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. This is absolutely incredible. I mean, as I said, my only um, real concern was that it didn't come in any sort of retail packaging, but then that was kind of rectified by my, uh, my point of, it's just gonna get thrown in the bin anyway. So uh, I guess it's absolutely fine. If you're in a shop and you just saw a, a, a pile like this on the um, on the shelf, it might look a little bit different. But because you're ordering it online, they're going to need to pass it uh, parcel it up in a box anyway. So absolutely no faults with them whatsoever. Easy Flash, thank you very much for sending this out to me, or Thomas. Thank you very much to Thomas for actually sending this out to me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, it's been a honour to have a company ask me to do a review on their product. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you very much for you guys watching. If you want to buy one of these, I'll leave the link in the eBay description below. What? And I'll uh, catch you in the next video. Peace.